Yo, what's up guys, Moses here. So today we're going to talk about five video players for your Macs. So as you guys know, I've uh, been using Windows platform for like most part of my life. And unfortunately, when I transitioned to Mac OS, uh, there were some video players that are not available yet on Mac OS. For example, Pot Player, which I used to enjoy on Windows platform, unfortunately now is not in Mac OS. So I was forced to dig deeper and look for alternatives for Pot Player. And I came up with five uh, video players which can substitute my love for Pot Player. So at number five, we have VLC Player. VLC Player is an open source player, which means that it code can be found on the internet. So VLC Player is found in almost all platforms that I know. For example, we have VLC player on Macs. We have VLC player on iOS. We also have VLC player on Android, Windows, and Linux. So, which means it's a very, very known video player. So this video player, why I put it at number five, it's because of its interface. Its interface uh, looks outdated and hasn't been revamped in almost like forever. So when you look at this interface, you'll be confused because each and everything is thrown on your face, which makes it clogged and not modern. But VLC player is a very good player, which can play most of video formats, which can support a wide range of video formats, which means that each and every video that you throw at it, it will open it and you'll be able to enjoy. And of course, it's free of charge, which means that you can download it and start enjoying your movies. At number four, we have QuickTime Player. QuickTime Player is a native video player which is found on Mac OS. So if you buy a Mac today, when you open it, you will get QuickTime Player already pre-installed in your Macs. So this player is not that intuitive as its interface is also minimal and not modern. For example, you don't have many options when you get this video player. And also this video player supports only a few video formats, which means if you throw in some modern video formats, there are higher chances that it may not play the video. At number three, we have Ina. Ina is a very, very impressive video player. Just like VLC, it's also free. It's an open source, which means that its code can be found from the internet. If you head to GitHub, you'll get Ina and you'll also get its code from there. So Ina can be said to be a modern looking QuickTime player. Ina and QuickTime Player have a lot of similarities. The only difference comes in when you look at Ina's interface and also look at QuickTime's player interface. So Ina can be said to be a modern QuickTime Player, which has a lot of options and can support a wide range of video formats. If you install Ina in your Mac OS, be assured that you're going to enjoy watching videos. If you are moving from something like QuickTime Player and jump into Ina, you are going to enjoy it because it is going to be like an upgrade for your QuickTime Player. At number two, we have El Media. There is an El Media Pro which you have to pay so that you can unlock some features like viewing 4K and 5K content. Also, El Media is a very, very good player. Believe me, it's a very, it's one of the best players on Mac. OS. So this player can support a wide range of video formats that you can throw on it. And also what makes uh, El Media a very good video player is because it comes pre-installed with its web. So with the web means that you can stream directly from the internet without having to download the video. This will save you the hassle and tussle of downloading any video or downloading the video that you want to view and just viewing it and they go using and million. There's a free version and the free version, it's good, but it doesn't have all the features like the pro version. The pro version 
it has a wide range of options which you can increase the speed, decrease the speed of your viewing and also view HDR content without having any lags. At number one, we have Infuse. I know most of you guys, maybe you don't know about Infuse Player, but as for me, the best video player for me is Infuse Video Player. Because just like El Media, it has all El Media elements like the web browser, the modern looking interface, and also the options. What makes Infuse Player stand out from El Media is its interface. Somewhat I love the Infuse interface compared to media because of some few minor changes that infuse really incorporated in their program really well with infuse is a community based video player which means each and everything that you suggest the developers to include there are higher chances that developers are going to include it if they see it's a really really nice suggestion let me know in the comment section which player you really do love using on your Mac so that maybe I will try it and see if it's worth the hype. Hope you enjoyed this short video. So until next time.